Hello. Today is the 22nd of September. Uh, Wilma and I have come to Deer Run Forest Preserve down along the Kishwaukee River. Uh, we're parked out by the, uh, the main entrance here. We're going to go in on this horse trail. It's by the parking lot. We have Last time we came in, we went in on the, uh, we went in down farther. So this time we're going to take this trail here. It's uh, about 2:15, and it's about 59. It's kind of breezy out. It's nice, good hiking weather. There's a falling down barn over there. It appears that uh, <coughs> we were this trail used to be right along a fence line. It looks like they're taking out the fence. I can see some fence posts here. It looks like they're digging out trees and stuff. So I wonder if the Forest Preserve District bought this land next to it. I have to send them an email and ask them. Now there's a post along the trail there back there that you can see four. And there's a fence there. According to the park map I have, this is to the to the east, I guess. Uh, that is not part of the forest, but apparently maybe it is now. I don't know how, how well it shows up in the video, but that green belt there appears to be a new trail in this field to the east of where the old trail is. I don't know if they're moving the trail or just adding some. Well, this sure looks like a new path. This is the one we came in on. This is the old one. I don't know what this is. Looks like it goes along this tree line. We're gonna follow the old one. Do, 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 do. Now we're now headed west. There's the, uh, uh, yeah, the railroad, one of the railroad bridges. I think there's two or three in here. There's a nice pond. Well, we'll probably want to go in there. Let's see, it's a pretty good size one. Mud puddle. I wonder if Wilma will go in there. Of course she did. Walked in it, took a good drink. She's done. There's the pond. It's not real deep right now. I was trying to figure out how to get down there. I don't think you can, Wilma. There's one side of it. And there's the other side of it. I don't know whether... You know, there's a culvert. I'm guessing it's some kind of little tributary or something. It doesn't look like there's any water flowing right now. Not too surprising. Uh, Wilma found a way to get down into the water. <laughs> you going to be able to get back up? Now there's the mud beagles. She's got mud all the way up to her belly. And we go under the railroad bridge. You can see that cross member still broken from the last time we were here. I guess nobody cares. Well, there's some water in this little slough. I guess that's what it is. Not much on this side though, if any. Yeah, there's a little bit of a... I guess there's a little water flowing. I think that's coming back, and this is going out. So we're gonna go this way. I think this is the way we came the last time. I don't think it makes much real difference. This is the entrance into McKiskey. As you can see, this little creek bed here is pretty dry. I don't know if it's really a creek or not, but there's a bridge and some gravel, so I'm guessing it's usually a creek, but it's pretty dry. It's a uh, now it's quarter after three, so we've been out about an hour and a half, so it's about a, I don't know, three, three and a half mile walk to get, to get here. So I'm guessing we won't see a whole lot of people out here. I haven't seen uh, any fresh horse manure, so I don't think there's any horse people out here yet. Well, I did see some down in the parking lot. But I haven't seen any on this trail. I don't know where they're at. Power lines at McKiskey still. 
we walked over to the river. There's a little bit of a path that goes over there. I don't know where it goes after that, but probably nowhere. It kind of ceases to go much of anywhere, I think. I think this little trail just stops here. Looks like it just goes out to this little inlet from the river. Maybe just a place for horses to, to come for water. And thirsty beagles. See the uh, power lines were just south of them. I'm not sure whether this is still McKiskey or Deer Run. I think it's still Deer Run. You can see how low the river is. I'm not sure what's across the river there. It might be Espenside. Might be part of Deer Run. I think it's part of Deer Run this far north. I don't think there's any way to get in there short of walking across the river. I'm not going to try that. Well, I think you might be able to. I'm going to play in the mud here for quite some time. You can see. Now well, here's some evidence of recent uh, trail maintenance. There's another cut down tree. I don't know why they haven't put this on the trail map yet. It's a really nice trail. I think we're turning east here. Hard to tell. I can't see the sun. We actually ran across a hiker. I don't see many hikers out this far. <laughs> you got to any place you gotta walk three and a half miles to get to first. Probably not gonna see a lot of hikers. He said he likes it because there's nobody else out here. Well, there's, this is pretty much floodplain out here. You can see the, there's much water. You can only guess what that is. Uh-huh. You guessed right. Poison ivy. I think that's the vine coming up there. I don't know if that big trunk is poison ivy or not. The f well, it is. Son of a gun. That's a big chunk of poison ivy. <laughs> that's got to be a two or three inch diameter chunk there. Well, we finished McKiskey. We're back in Deer Run now. I haven't seen anybody else other than the one hiker never expected to see. I'd see more horse people out here towards the end of the season and everything. Nice day. Maybe they went someplace else. Up here somebody got it. Now you can see there's quite a bit of water flowing here probably because it's so low it's a little faster than normal but I don't know if that big island out there is normal or not. Hard to tell. Now we're almost through the train tracks. Looks like they've been in here cutting down some of the weeds they don't like. This way, coming in, Wilma wanted to go in on this side trail. I don't know where it goes. We'll find out. I told her we had to wait and come in later. I don't know what these purple berries are. I think we can get across. So I can get across here without getting too wet. I don't have my waterproof boots on, so we'll see. It's a nice place for Wilma to get some water. Looks like there's flowing water anyway. Here's this is a horse ford. There's somebody's laundry, I think. I don't know. Wilma went down there. I suppose I could get across. There's the the bridge. Yeah, this is the north branch of the Kishwaukee River. It looks to me like you could get across on a horse. I think you'd get pretty wet if you were short or didn't have hip waders. Well, somebody left his swimming trucks to hang up here and never came back to get them. I don't see a horse trail on the other side over there. there probably is one somewhere. I can't imagine they'd make a ford unless there was a reason to ford the river. Probably over there somewhere. Or maybe just get you out to the, the island. I don't know. Kind of cool. Well, it convinced me to walk along the creek bank here. You can get across here, I think. Maybe. Not quite as rocky here. It's like you get on the other side, but I don't think you can go too far. A lot of dead wood here. 
I think we'll just go back. Kind of a neat place, though. I walked back in here once before and didn't realize that it went all the way to the river. It might have been a little higher here and I didn't want to get in the water. And that's about a four or five inch long mussel shell. Pretty good sized freshwater mussel some raccoon got. There's a toe of my boot for reference. Looks like they've cut a fire break across this field. I don't remember seeing it from the other side. Maybe it doesn't go over to the other trail, but looks like they're going to burn one side or the other this fall. There's a pod that's been sitting a while. You can see the walnut. You can see a road and a bridge over there. I think that's Perryville. Pretty sure it is. Nothing out here but me and Wilma, and Wilma's in a big hurry. Now we're going to go look at the river crossing. Go and get a drink. Pretty low. I might be able to get across it if I had my other boots on. Maybe when we, we'll come back in a week or two and go over to uh, Oak Ridge and see if we can get to get across from the other side. It's hard to say how deep it is over on the other side. It's not real deep this side though. Don't know why, but from the river crossing they've got this little mowed lane. It comes back to this way. It's kind of parallel to the main trail and they dump some dirt there. Huh? Maybe this is where they dump dirt. I don't know. It seems like a lot of long way to go to dump some dirt. It looks relatively fresh. There's nothing growing on it. Well, Western River Crossing. Didn't know there was another river crossing. I guess it's a river crossing for people. Here's a dog leash. I, uh, we saw a great blue heron. This is the second one we've seen. I don't think I got him on the video though. I pushed the record button but didn't push it right so it didn't start. And he went that way. This is a canoe launch, such as it is much water anymore but you know I suppose you could yeah might be able to get a canoe in there come on creaky time to go home well, we're back at the car it's about 6 30 not quite but almost resting <laughs> 